What's going on? Welcome back. We are going to break our 1-2 streak today. I guarantee it. We have done four vintage cube drafts so far. And we have done four 1-2s. And you know what? Today is the day this Mox Emerald changes everything. I like Noble Hierarch. I like Snapcaster. I like Mox better. Mox it is. And then we're going to get past an Ancestral Recall or a Soul Ring. Those are going to be sweet. So, I'm ready to go. Oh, if it isn't Chorwood himself. I'm ready. I said, bring it. Okay, well, those those cards that I mentioned are not in here. But a Rafelos goes pretty well with a Mox Emerald. That's a turn one Rafelos. I don't think I'm passing a Rafelos here. None of these other cards are that great. So, Rafelos it is. And hopefully Eternal Witness can wheel. That'd be pretty cool. Eh, Gilded Goose is kind of meh. Tropical Island is nice. Savannah is nice. I think I'm in for Tropical Island more than Gilded Goose here. You know, we'll Trop. It's also important because it's a forest for Raffelos. Garrick, Vorinclex, Kitchen Finks, Ulamog. We could get a channel. I do like an Ulamog. I like it better than Mere Battle Sphere, and I don't particularly like Signets that much in Mono Green. Oh, Pernicious Dude, I'm so sorry, man. Oh, almost took the card I did not want. Now we'll take this. Take my money. Oh, I'm going to take someone's money. One pernicious buck. Pernicious dude, I'm so sorry, bud. That is the worst. Like Nissa, Arbor Elf, Blightsteel. I'm going to take the Arbor Elf here. I think one mana, mana dorks are more important than like a Nissa. Nissa also might come back. Blightsteel might even come back. You never know. I do like an Elder Gargaroth. I also like a Green Sun Zenith. I'm going to take the Green Sun Zenith. That's a second Raffelos as far as I know. I'm going to take Woodfall Primus. That's a good dude. Oh God, I wish this was a Wall of Roots. I just don't like it. Rather have Blooming Marsh. Oh, wow. Nothing. Nothing, huh? Okay. Um, okay. I mean, like, if we're going to have to take something from this pack, I guess we'll take an Emrakul. Yeah, ever since Pilgrim is not the worst, I guess. I don't love it. Eh, Kitchen Finks is fine. You think that Elder Gargaroth's coming back? I remember when he was just a middle-aged Gargaroth. Those were the days.
And this has been a sl it's been a slow uh a slow pack here. Am I still alive? Hello? Wow, Nissa and Blight still came back. I was correct. Oh, I like a Huntmaster. Huntmaster and Night of Autumn, both uh, splashable. Okay, Jace the Mind Sculptor goes very well with our Tropical Island. Shish boof. Shish boof. I mean, I'm not going to take a Wall of Roots over a Jace. I'd rather just try to make the Jace work. I do like an Ugin. God, I love a Leovold. And a Time Spiral. And a Bayou. I think it's got to be Ugin, and we're just keeping our fingers crossed for the channel. I mean, Ugin is just good. It gets you out of some pickles. You guys ever been in any pickles? Okay. Okay. Um, Dryad has to be other than Coalition Relic here, right? Like, Coalition Relic's fantastic, but Dryad being able to fix our mana for, like, a Jace or a Knight of Autumn. Is that better? I don't even know. Actually, Coalition Relic kind of does the same thing, I guess. Hmm. I'm going to take Coalition Relic here. I think it just, it just nets us more mana. It's also more, it's more versatile, so I could see Dryad coming back. Uh, being more likely than than Coalition Relic coming back. Oh, Opposition is kind of the card we want to be blue for, right? So, yeah, we're going to just Opposition here. Yo, can someone tell me where my uh, Deranged Hermit at? It's not here. I do like Fraley's. Probably better than Finhorn Elves, I think. Cheese Wisp, welcome back. Really appreciate it, my dude. Welcome back. Yeah, I'm going to take Fraley's here. Fraley's makes creatures, uh, which we want for opposition. It's also a way to destroy artifacts and enchantments, which is one of the key one of the key effects you want in this cube, which is why I'll be taking Reclamation Sage as well. Where is the... Um, what's that card called? Oh, yes, Breeding Pool. Oh, well, I guess we're just taking Crater Huff. Huh. I mean, you know, eight mana slots getting a little tight here, but we have Green Sun Zenith. I hate the Draga Tree Speaker was in the same pack, but I mean, we're not going to pass a Crater Huff. Even though Shut the, the odds are money. our opponent might take... Uh, be able to play our crater have more frequently than we will be able to. Jojo MKE, <laughs> amazing as always. Let me see what that said. That's legendary, dude. In honor of the new gods, draft legendary critters and planeswalkers. Regular exceptions, of course. Don't have to play all, just have a guy. You're too good. You're too good. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you, Jojo MKE. I'm going to take Primal Command. Now I'm going to take. Nothing. I don't know, language it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't hate Bayou. God, Leovolds came back. Leovolds. I kind of like Leovold and we can green Sun Zenith into it. You know what? It's so greedy. It's not even realistic, right? I mean, it works off of Coalition Relic. Whatever. Gristlebrand? Sure. Casualties of War. That was a late Tendrils. This is also a late Electromancer. That's a late Entomb. Boy. I mean, there's, there's definitely another green drafter in this cube. 
Or in this pod, rather. All right, I'm adding this JoJo key step to the to the step board. There it is. <laughs> That's what we were looking for. That's why we took the Ugin and the Ulamog. Oh yeah, nailed it. Also, Drain's tournament might come back. But we're taking channel. It's exactly what we wanted to see. Oh boy, that's exciting. That's a bingo. We could also take Signet here and then just try to play this Leovold. I mean, really, my goal was to green sun into Leovold. I think it's Acidic Slime. Acidic Slime's got to be better, right? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Seems good. Thank you. Um, Music Manly with the resub. I appreciate you, buddy. Appreciate it. I think it's just Turn Timber Symbiosis. I mean, when you have Woodfall, Primus, Crater Hoof, and Ulamog. I mean, it seems like a no-brainer, right? Bloodstained Mire doesn't get us anything, unfortunately. Oh, we also have a, just a casual Blooming Marsh. I guess we can take Survival, actually, which is pretty decent with Channel, because then you can discard, like, a Rexage and go get an Ulamog. I don't know if it's great. I don't... I'm usually not a humongous... I kind of like through the breach here, to be quite honest. Um, <laughs> and maybe the tiger wheels? That would be cool. I mean, I don't want to take... I don't care about regrowth so much. I'll just take through the breach, just in case. Um, I don't hate steam vents, to be honest, because it lets us cast through the breach and the um, the blue cards that we have. Could also just take the copper line gorge. I mean, I don't want to make our Rafellas that much worse, right? And I want to maximize the number of chances that we have to play a green um, on turn one and two. Although, if we get any sort of fetch land that lets us search for red or green or blue, I guess, yeah, I don't know. I like it better than Copperline Gorge is really what it comes down to. Tribe Elder? Okay, I'll take a Tribe Elder. Omnath we can also get with Green Sun Zenith, which is almost tempting. Man. There's nothing else in this pack. I don't really super care about sort of body and mind, to be honest. I'm just taking the Omnath here. We have dreams to live here, guys. <laughs> Leovold and Omnath. We're going to get him off this green sun. Avacyn's Pilgrim also helps us cast Omnath, so. Regrowth is another channel, though I don't foresee you needing more than one. Ancient Tomb came back? I mean, I'm not sure I understand, but I'll take it. I'll take Harmonize. Drawing four in the green deck is actually not terrible. Take a burst lightning. Oh, 
Oh, the taiga came back? I was actually hoping for that. That's fantastic. Copperline Gorge came back as well. Okie dokie. So we're definitely playing through the breach now. Because it's it's pretty good with Woodfall Primus and Ulamog. Might even be fine with... Oh, actually, this is a land, too. So we actually get two more playables. Wow, this is... Something. We don't have anybody splash white other than, like, Avacyn's Pilgrim and Coalition Relic. We do have Sakura Tribalder to go search for any land, so unfortunately we might want, um, you know, a bunch of... I might just want Emrakul for, like, Turn Timber Symbiosis. Like, it goes well with several things. I mean, it, I know it's it's not it's not the best through the Breach, but it's still 13 damage. And it's still good with channel, so... I actually don't hate Huntmaster. It's pretty decent with opposition. We have easy ways to cast it now. We can search for it with Green Sun. Yeah, alright, we'll do a Huntmaster. And our manas... I don't even think we want to play Ancient Tomb, to be quite honest. Our color requirements are just too heavy, and there's like so many cards in our deck that we can't actually... Um cast. Definitely want a red. Probably want a black. Probably want a blue. I don't, I don't know. Maybe we don't want Thank a black. You. I don't think we want a white or a black right in here. I think the red is fine because like we have three red cards. But like we're, we're just splashing white for Omnath and it's just not reasonable. And we're just splashing black for Leovold. And we also have a, a Blooming Marsh here so that's fine. Jiggity Jaws. Thank you for the resub buddy. Welcome back. Seven, so we get uh, 10 lands because we have a turn timber. Seven, eight, nine. So this is three, four, five. Tribelder, six. This deck really wants to cultivate. There's also six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven green sources. I literally like we have Taiga and Trop for Arbor Elf, which is pretty nice. Six, seven, eight, nine. This is actually twelve green sources. We can go down here, add another one of these. Nope, not Primal Command. Alright, this is this is the deck here. This is like the weirdest green deck. If I was trying to break my my one two streak, I'm not sure this is the best way to do it. But I mean, to be fair, we could go O three, which also does break the one two streak. So you know, so I've gotten two comments on that Sundering Titan video, where we actually figured out how Sundering Titan works. One person said I've played Sundering Titan in some decks since it was printed and I've never heard of it being able to target the same land. Uh, someone else said, the way that I was told how Sundering Titan uh, works is that you select Savannah as your forest, meaning that you cannot select it as your plains. So you just skip that land type. I didn't think that you were actually selecting the same land twice, though. That would also imply that a Dryad of the Elysian Grove would let you blow up just a single land, whereas my understanding was that you would still force... like. Apparently, a lot of people see that you can, uh, apparently people see that you can, um, or apparently people, people have thought that you can, you, you can't target the same land. Like you have to actually choose a land for each land that's on the battlefield. Does that make sense? So I don't know. Apparently I, I was not alone in, in not knowing, um, about that. Is this match going to fire, you think? Oh, that video is on YouTube. It went up today. Oh, wow. We actually just got to slam a Leovold on three naturally. This is wild. I mean, unless we draw a Mox Emerald and then it's turn two. <laughs> I'd like that. I'd like that.
Come on, Mox Emerald. Mm -hmm. Eight drop. Well, well, well. Well, we'll see if this Leovold resolves. I have my doubts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, no, it's going to resolve for sure now. Beautiful. I mean, my favorite part is that, like, if they kill it, we draw a card, right? Like, that's, like, the best part about Leovold. Is that it's always it's always a two for one, sometimes more. Oh, that's a Nissa. Broke Leovold woke Sorrel's pack mate. It's not it's not entirely inaccurate. Let's go island and we'll just do this guy because I think we're making one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana next turn if we draw land. Oh, I guess we have a land in Nyssa. So it gives us four mana. So if we draw like Jace, we can go Nyssa and Jace, which is kind of cool. I mean, they could just kill us too. They could just be like, Splinter Twin, you... Trying to run this guy. That is not a Jace, just to be clear. I don't think it matters per se. Okay, they didn't do anything again, but they might be dropping that Splinter Twin. They did not. Okay. I mean, next time we can Crater Hoof or Ugin. Crater Hoof lethal? Crater Hoof is lethal for sure, right? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So if they tap out for something with 6 or less power, we're good to go. I said power, I meant toughness. You knew I meant toughness. Are they gonna play things this game? I'm not sure I understand what's happening right now. Oh, we didn't even we didn't even put counter on this, so now we can't play. Wow, that sucks. Yep, that makes a big difference. I was distracted by my own mistake. Okay. Still nothing. Alright, well. I mean, they've only played a Golgari Signet and Everflowing Chalice this game. They're missing, like, a like a white? The babe with the toughness, yeah. <laughs> the toughness of voodoo. <laughs> Faithless looting. Okie dokie. The old Yogmoth Bar... Okay, so there's a bad storm deck, I guess? Or a mediocre storm deck? Yogmoth's Bargain. Oh, are we time spiraling here? Well, that's something if we are. Mind's Desire for two. Let's see. Spin that wheel. Okay, sure. <laughs> That's not going to do it. Okie dokie. <laughs> what just happened? Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my gorsh. I kind of just want Night of Autumn here, even though we don't have a great way to cast it. I'm going to take out Opposition. We're going to take out one blue and we'll add a Plains to search for.
Voilà, voilà. Frank messed up his coalition relic. Opponent messed up his deck. Yeah, well, that is how it went. What do we get? Swamp or, or mountain here? I'll keep this. It's not exciting, but... It's a hand. It's a living. I might just get a red because we have Through the Breach Leovold and, or Through the Breach uh, Huntmaster and Omnath, and we can cast Omnath if we draw it. So that's kind of cool. Brainstorm. Pay, it said pay costs. So I was like, are you trying to cast something with the... Oh, wow. This is just such card disadvantage here. This is so strange. Oh! Now we're getting a red for sure. Yield to the end step. Thank you. Hold on one second. What did they do? They just brain freeze themselves. Okay, well, this this is really, really strange. Monkey knife fight. Thank you for the resub, buddy. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, they just, they, they faithless looting to brain freeze. Sure, that's fine. What are they tinkering for here? Could be anything. Seems pretty good. Oh boy.
I mean, I feel like we win this race. I'm gaining four a turn, and they're dealing me three a turn, basically. Okie dokie. This is better, I think. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can go one, two, three for Coalition Shut up and Relic. Take my money. Pack one, pick one, thousand year storm. I don't care what happens after that. Maybe play it. How am I going to do that? <laughs> I'm putting it on the list, so if we open a Thousand Year Storm, we'll pick it. Oh good, they're just drawing all the things they need. That's very nice of them. Uh, yield until the end step. Are they just going to kill my... They're just past in flamesing to kill my Omnath? Because that's pretty funny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They have, they have enough mana to hard cast Sundering Titan again, unfortunately. Do I think paper events will ever come back? Yes, of course they will. I can't imagine them not coming back. Like, that's just not reasonable. I don't want to lose a million mana is the problem. So we can either play Jace or Leovold here. We have one, two, three, four, five. We'll have six mana. That's not going to do it. Uh, God, I have four cards in hand. I actually don't know how we're losing this game. It's very strange. I did not expect Sundering Titan. Because of course I didn't. Oh, actually, if we bounce it, they have to sack three of their lands, two of their lands. And we lose two. But we get to keep a Jace on board. So they lose, it's probably Swamp and Mountain, right? So they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, yeah, let's just bounce with Jace here, I think. And if they want to play it again, we'll bounce it again. We'll lose. Oh, they're just going to counter it. <laughs> yep. All right. Sounds good. Oh, boy. Yield to the end step. Good times, man. Very good times. I'm having fun. But he was not having fun. Okay, well, we're not going to play that. It's blue again. Chase again. Oh, we did it. Bounce this idiot. So this is nice because if they want to play it again, they have to kill three of their lands. Well, two if they don't play another swamp, so... Yep. 
Yep, you got it. Sure. What about Mutual's dad? Will he ever come back? No. Four, five, six, seven. Eight. They can, I mean, they can replay Sundering Titan, kill one forest, their island, and their other island. And then we can bounce it again and kill another forest and another island. And here we go. Wait, what? I have a Jace on board. Are you going to time walk? What? What? I'm like extremely confused right now. <laughs> this is very strange. I'm not even playing lands because they can cast Sundering Titan. Five, six, seven, eight. They have 10 mana. Two more and they can just cast a Blightsteel. But also if they play Sundering Titan and kill a land, we get to draw on their cards, so that's okay. I really just want a channel. Oh, no, a channel doesn't do much because we have four life. Rex Age would be sweet. <laughs> Steam vents. Acidic slime, huh? Well, that's not ideal. Put Emrakul and Woodfall back, I guess. So next time we can Acidic Slime kill their Sundering Titan. We're definitely just blocking with Avacyn's Pilgrim, because we're dead if we don't. Charge counter on this guy. Oh, I didn't know that was a. Uh, I didn't know that was there. Yep, I lose two lands. You lands when you lose one land. Totally fine. Oh, we also. Oh, it's choosing. It's not targeting. So actually, we don't draw cards from these. I said it earlier that we did, but. Uh, Lotus Petal? Uh, no, you can keep a Lotus Petal. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lotus Petal puts you to eleven. But now Jace is at three, so we can bounce their stupid Colossus like three times. So, Just finished changing my oil. Keep treating any better? I don't know. This is round one. Our deck's kind of a mess, but... I mean, we're up a game, and I feel like we're in good shape, but who knows? 
we've had one, two, three, five lands killed off to a, a Sundering Titan. We had Rafelos and Omnath killed to the same dismember off of one Past in Flames. So we have Blightsteel and they have three other random cards. Well, it's not a victory yet, so... Oh, a Swamp. Oh, they can go Swamp and Lotus Petal? And that's what they did. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I mean, we have Jace. I don't think there's a way they have Haste. Even if they do, we have a blocker, so it's like... I mean, like, they have two cards. Okay, you're going to pass in Flames. The only card in your graveyard is High Tide. Is the other card in your hand Mind's Desire? Because that's kind of funny. Because then you just Mind's Desire for four. I guess that's better than Colossus. Brain Freeze for four. So 12 cards. But we have an Ulamog in our deck, so I'm not like... We know the last card is a Blightsteel, right? So... Okay. Yeah, we have a Ulamog. You got it. Uh, I'm also declining to draw a card because if we draw Ulamog, it's terrible for us. I mean, once we shuffle... Oh, it's not, it's not gonna... Well, actually... Um, nope. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. That'll do. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yep. Don't draw with, don't, don't draw with Leovold if you're trying to hit your Olamog. Well, that was something, all right. <laughs> I don't know what, but it was something. I'll keep this. We can get a Leovold, we can get an Omnath. Man, we can get it all. Steam Vents. No, we're just going to play Arbor Druid here. Arbor Druid? Arbor Elf. It is a Druid. It is an Arbor Druid, technically. I mean, I'm thinking, I'm thinking an Omnath for a Leovold when they have a Skull Clamp out is probably going to be better. That being said, we could also get it back. We have one, two, three mana, so we can do it. We can also Rafellos here. I think. I think for. I think getting Rafellos here is probably better. Because next turn it's seven mana. We're so close to Ugin. We can just cast Huntmaster. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's a thing, I guess. Now you have a bull Ugh, fucking Sundering Titan again. Jesus Christ! Like, of course, the one time I figure out Sundering Titan kills all of your fucking lands. This is the one time. Like, of course, I'm playing four colors with a bunch of different types. Come on, man. 
cool. So if we played this, we can have one, two, three lands. So next turn we can just play this and that's unreal, dude. Twice in a row, people tinker for Sundering Titan. When I have like Steam Vents, Taiga, Tropical Island, Forests, Islands in my deck. Oh God. Who's exhausted? This guy. That's frustrating. It's almost like the fucking universe is like, hey, you figured out how Sundering Titan works, dipshit? Check it out. Doesn't get rid of a Sundering Titan. Five mana. And we have one spell. We either play it or we don't play it. And if we negative four or negative five, it kills everything. Our Ugin goes to two and they just get to keep their Sundering Titan. Oh, that's frustrating. I mean, we could take eight, go to seven, play Ugin, kill this guy. Then we just have to, like, block, block. I mean, if this was an Ulamog, I'd actually just windmill slam it, kill the Sundering Titan. I mean, as it stands, we get to kill this guy, maybe block here. That doesn't seem better. Nope. All right. I'm just going to pass so we can flip our hunt master, I guess. This is frustrating. Thank you. Oh, Neon Tokyo Ram with the gifted sub. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Sure. I'm just taking... Uh, God. The problem is if we draw Ulamog, it's like... or Yeah, if we draw Ulamog, we want to be able to cast it. And we can't channel it if we don't... If we, if we go down to like 7 or 8. Yep, that's pretty good. Let's go to 10. We're going to play opposition. We're playing two spells, so we get to flip our Ravager. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. Wow, that was pretty solid. And we gained two life. Well, we're tapping these two, so we might as well tap a land too. Let's go to the main phase. They have three cards in hand. They get a free land. 
Uh, let's go here. Sure. Oh, there's one to the end step. And they didn't play anything, so we just get to shoot this guy naturally. Oh, we could have actually killed Whisperwood. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, do we get to cast that? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, not, not really close. Wow, I don't know how we won that game. <laughs> uh, again, Night of Autumn seems good. Just out of plane. I mean, like, maybe we're just, like, less of a mono green deck and more of, like, a four-color good stuff deck. Um, I don't know if that scoop seemed premature. Like, if they don't have an answer for opposition, like, and we have an active Ugin on board, like, in what they have one turn, basically, or we get to ultimate Ugin. Like, you know, if they can't deal with it, plus we get to, like, tap down their, their team. Uh, let's cut a green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Still ten green sources. Um, happy Friday. <laughs> oh, what up, Chris? Um, God, it's fucking, I'm so tired of, like, our deck is so bad against Sundering Titans, and we face two Sundering Titans. I mean, I guess we still have a winning record, but... You know, nevertheless, I'm just gonna play 41 here. Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand. Oh boy, so aggressive. Rexage, Leovold. Actually, it might have been better to play Mox Island and Arbor. Well, yeah, I guess that. Yeah, that would have been better. Oh, well, it doesn't matter, I guess, because that's cool. No incentive to really play Days here, or play uh, <laughs> Plow of Days, uh, Mox Emerald. Okay, you know, they're just going to tinker into... That's fine. Let's put a counter on now so that it still gets its counter. Yep, this guy's big, but I'm not super concerned with it. And we just bounce it with Jace? I guess we get opposition and just keep a tap down forever. Blue. Taiga, Mox. So we have what... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, so we need blue, 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 black, and we only have blue, blue, blue. We actually can't do all the things. And Jace also enters with one counter, so that's not great. I hate wasting three mana, but what can you do? But -a -ba -ba -ba. Oh, we just win because of opposition. That's cool. <laughs> well, all righty. <laughs> I don't know how we're 4 0 against double Sundering Titan decks, but here we are. Here we are. Well, we've already broken the one-two streak, and I was not expecting it to happen with this deck. So, is opposition power nine? I think so. I think so. But ba 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 I'm boring clicks. Wow, that's that's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna keep this and I hope I draw a second green source. 
for my Eugenus. Don't talk about my Eugenus. Oh god. Oh, we did it! Ch 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 channel! Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You genus. Get him. <laughs> Gotty! I mean, they could have something for this. They could have unexpectedly absent to put it right on the top. And they did not. Oh, try builder, go get go get some planes. We don't have a planes in our deck, so it doesn't. Yeah, just go to the face, I guess. What is happening right now? I get the ultimate this guy next turn. They can't steal it, right? Not with five, not with four mana, and mono whitey things. Fuck. Oh, we can just frailies it next turn. Oh boy, this is exciting. I'm having an excite. What do you are you? I was like, what's the what's the decision here? Crack this guy. I mean, we're just hoping, obviously, that they don't have a mana tithe, right? Oh, now they don't. Oh, we did it. Oh my god! So we get to kill that and uh, and kill the usher and have frailies on board. The game has ended. I'll get my frailies on and game two. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. Yep, that's it. <laughs> frailies, kill your thing. Let's bring a Knight of Autumn again. Wow, this has been going well. Oh boy, good times. I think Flame Tongue's probably actually decent here too. Let's take Harmonize out. I feel like that's probably a little too slow. Dang, that makes what had just happened not feel so bad. That's good. That's good. What's the decision here? It says the person who held up for like 15 seconds time to run a single target for Ugin. Wait, who, me? I did that? I don't remember doing that. I shot that Lana War. I shot that figure of destiny like immediately. Oh, dang it. We could have did it again. I'm not going to risk that. Yeah, this is not great either. Eight drop, eight drop, eight drop, and a Nissa. You know what? We can do better. This is probably as good as we're going to get. Oh, no. That's very good. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I should have kept one of the big fat boys in my hand. Okay, I am under the impression that they're not going to have... Sundering Titan this game. That's my That's my impression. That's the impression that I get. Also it doesn't matter, I got a gorge and a marsh flat, so we don't have enough green to play F channel and frailies, unfortunately, because Avison's pilgrim is terrible. I'll just have six here. I don't have anything to play, so. Never had to knock on wood. I know the one who has. That's a big ass friggin' thing. I don't like it. Mill me for ten cards. That's a... None of those cards are great. 
I need a blue for that guy. Dang it. Well, we do have an Ulamog in our deck. Oh boy. This is a revolting development. I mean, we're going to take another hit here. However, if they mill our Ulamog at some point, we get it all back. Get it all back. That's fine. We're not drawing any cards here. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Unfortunately, that doesn't do much for us. We kind of have to kill the sword, but then we still take a million. Yep, that's going to be the end. Man, I brought the Knight of Ottoman specifically for this. My first loss is this loss. I still think our deck is good enough as is. I'm keeping this based on the the color selection here. I was thinking burst lightning, but I don't like the I don't like the uh, the likelihood of us having red that early. I don't know if we have a swamp in our deck, which is unfortunate. I guess we'll find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. We're not going to trade here. No swamp. That is unfortunate. I'll just get another island because we do need two islands for things. Yeah. I just need some playables, and I feel like I have a good selection of them, like a flame tongue kabu. Eight mana woodfall primus. Okie dokie. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five mana so far. Yep. I mean, this is meant to be, right? The 3 0 seemed too good to be true. Ooh, land tax. Interesting. No blocks. Oh! <laughs> I kind of want to throw the breach, kill the land tax, but I'm going to let them activate the Stoneforge Mystic first so that we can still kill the Batter Skull. Oh, that's good. I, I, I like that it didn't let me do that. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, because I don't have a stop on my end step, just theirs. That's weird. It's never affected me before. <sighs> well, that's unfortunate. Love letting my opponents just draw three. At least we can play around mana tides still, so... Uh, 
I never had to knock on wood, but I know someone who has. Boom ba ba boom ba ba boom 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 so at least we got two out of it. And then we get another one from the Primus coming back. Let's get rid of that. Ugh, fuck, dude. Come on. I want to play Planes because if we draw Omnath, I want to be able to play a land immediately afterwards. So. I guess we're hoping they don't have Oblivion Ring. They'll probably have Oblivion Ring. <clears throat> okay. Sure. <laughs> oh, why not? Of course, it's the turn after I would fall Primus. Why wouldn't it be? Yeah, it makes total sense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to keep this. There's a lot of eight manas that we can draw. No land. One time. Fucking exhausting. I guess we have one turn left. Take five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope. Ah, eh, we got. Yeah, we can block with Arbor Elf. I guess. Oh, I guess if they attack with. Why no attack from me? Because we die. I'm not sure. I understand. So go block, block, we block, we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, we take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No. Block these two. Take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Fucking exaxes. Amazing. Yep, never fails. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.